Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on leaving Sir Project Math Strand 5 and today we're going to be looking at linear functions. We're going to see how we identify them, how we can write their equations and how we can sketch them when given the function itself. Let's say I want to find the derivative of an arbitrary function at a particular point. We saw in the last video that the derivative of a function at a point is equivalent to the slope of a tangent line which touches the curve at that point. We also saw though that we couldn't find the exact slope of such a tangent line because we would only know the exact coordinates of one point on the tangent line and we need two points to find a slope. So instead we used a secant line which passes through two points in order to approximate the tangent line. So I'll mark a second arbitrary point along this curve and draw a secant line through the two points. To find the slope of this secant line, I would draw my right angled triangle as usual and determine the rise over the run. I'm going to label these two points I've marked here first. I'm going to mark the x coordinate of the point where I want to find the derivative as x. The y coordinate then is just the output of the function when the input is x. And in general form, that would just be f of x. What I will do is I'm just going to say that the run has a length h. That means that the x coordinate of my blue point here is going to be x plus h. And the y coordinate is just the output when the input is x plus h, which would just be, which would just be f of x plus h. Since the rise is just the difference between the y values, it will be f of x plus h minus f of x. Now we can write down the slope of the secant line in general form. The slope is going to be equal to the rise over run, which is f of x plus h minus f of x all over our run, which we called h. We saw in the last video that the closer this second blue point here is in proximity to the red point of interest, the closer the secant line will approximate a tangent line to the curve at this red point which of course is the derivative of the function at that point, which is f dash x. So if we want to find that derivative, we need to make the run really, really small. So the points are close together. In fact, we would want to make our run, which is of length h, infinitely small. Now you might think, well, if h is infinitely small, surely that just means that h is zero. Except if we look at this expression here, we have division by h. And if we subbed in zero here, then we'd have to have division by zero. And we of course cannot divide by zero. So what we do instead is we say we take the limit of this expression as h approaches zero. So h is going to get infinitely close to zero, but we're not going to sub in zero just yet. So we're taking the limit of the slope expression as the run gets infinitely small and approaches zero. And this is the formula that we use when we differentiate by first principles. So we've basically just derived a formula from scratch which will allow us to find the first derivative of a function. However, this formula is a little bit long and inconvenient to use and in the next video, which is on differentiation by rule, we'll see a much easier method for differentiating polynomials. However, in some exam questions on the higher paper, they do specify using differentiation by first principles to differentiate your function. 
So you will have to know how to use this method. And this formula is unfortunately not in the log tables. So you will have to learn it off by heart. But I think if you understood what I was doing on this slide, then learning this formula shouldn't be too tricky.